Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on the HPET plugin. So you can see in front of me I've got this fun little pet jumping around me and as you can see it's going to follow and there is a little trail circling around me as well. This is one I've created, I just grabbed a random head off of this website which I will show you and we've got this cool little rainbow heart that is highlighted. So what we can do is the forward slash HPET command to open up the GUI. Now all of these ones are the default ones, this is the one that I created and I'll show you how to create more. But down here we can remove our pet if we wanted and we can start again. So you can see some of these have multiple in each category, so for this one we have different mobs like a slime, a penguin, which might be quite cool. So if we click that it will spawn around us and it's going to bob up and down. Now if we go back into it what we can do is create a trail which has a mini version of itself circling around. If we go back into it on the right we can hit glow and it will have this nice white glow around it and then we can even rename it by doing forward slash pet rename and then test for example obviously it doesn't look great you can actually use color codes now if we go back into this you can respawn your pet if it ever messes up or glitches out and then if you were to grab one like the creeper some of these actually have abilities so they might give you more health they might allow you to swap weapons they might disarm your enemy or this one is actually going to cause an explosion. Um, but that is what one looks like. So that's how it works in game. Let's go ahead and create one of our own pets. So here we are in the HPET folder and what we want to do is go into the pets.yml and this is gonna have a list of all the pets, the description, the skin and the abilities. So we've got a variety of different ones. You can see the abilities here, fake armor, temporary god mode for three minutes and it's gonna give you all that information up at the top. So there's a variety of things you can add. So what you can actually do is simply copy and paste an existing one, like so, and then you can create a brand new one. So this one's gonna be called test and I'm just gonna quickly whiz through here, customize it a little bit. And then what we could do is grab an ability from a previous one. So do you want a chance for a fireball? Do you want it to shoot an ender pearl every minute? So this one sounds quite fun. So we're gonna grab this one and paste it in here and you can obviously have multiple abilities. And maybe we'll change this to every 20 seconds. Finally, we want to replace this skin. So we can go to another website. This is minecraft-heads.com. And if we go into custom heads, this is where we can pick something. So here's the heart I picked previously. Uh, but let's go onto a random page and just grab one. So I'm gonna pick this emerald helmet one. And we want to scroll down and go to this value down here. We want to simply copy this and paste it in the previous one it's gonna be rather long so once you paste it in there we can save it now it won't work currently what we need to do is go into the config.yml and then add it into the enable pet so go onto a different line put a hyphen and this one is called test and if we scroll down here we've got some other stuff such as the teleport um, so how long it waits before a pet spawns on join so half a second and then we've got a disabled worlds list here so if you don't want it in creative so if we do for slash h pet reload and then h pet we should see our brand new skin here so the pet has spawned in and as you can see the ender pearl ability is working a little too well so obviously you can try different things out and tweak them as necessary but that is how you would create your own and how it works in game and here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19 and you can customize the plugin with tons of different pets as i showed you with different abilities which is very cool and then you've got to have protocol lib and it actually supports lots of other plugins which is interesting and you can have various different models like a giraffe or elephant if you have another plugin with custom models so if you want to download it head over to this link but that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next week.